In a major blow to America's seafood industry, Alaska's Department of Fish and Game has canceled the winter snow crab season in the Bering Sea due to falling numbers. While restaurant menus will suffer, the greatest impact will be to the economy to the tune of $200 million. For tonight's Eye on America, CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti traveled to Alaska to investigate. Autumn is a time for stocking up on Alaska's Kodiak Archipelago. Its famous namesake bears feast on a buffet of salmon ahead of winter. And in the nearby fishing port, one of the largest in the country, Gabriel Prout and his family had mapped out crab season. We'll leave our slip here in Dog Bay, Kodiak, Alaska, head out around Spruce Island. But the odds of Prout's ship ever leaving his slip are now slim to none, which could also be said about the snow crab population that makes up most of his business. An estimated one billion crabs mysteriously disappeared in just two years. That's a 90% plunge. Where have the snow crab gone? Did they run up north to get to that colder water? Did they completely cross across the border? Did they walk off the continental shelf on the edge there of the Bering Sea? We don't know. The first reaction was, this, is this real? You know, we looked at it was almost a flat line. As a researcher with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. Let's see what we've got for crab. It's Ben Daly's job to monitor the health of the state's fisheries, which produce 60% of the nation's seafood. His team is now investigating where the crabs have gone. But we're trying to look for causes. Uh, disease is one possibility. Daly also points to climate change. Alaska is the fastest warming state in the country and is losing billions of tons of ice each year, critical for crabs who need cold water to survive. Environmental conditions are changing rapidly. We've seen some warm conditions in the Bering Sea the last handful of years, and we're seeing a response in a cold adapted species. So it's pretty obvious that, that this, is, this is connected. We need a rapid relief financial program to get us through disasters like this, much like farmers get during crop failures or communities get soon after a hurricane or flood. What does a person do whose life is dependent on the ocean when the ocean stops giving? Hope and pray. Hope and pray the snow crabs return mm -hmm. and his way of life continues. For Ion America, I'm Jonathan Vigliotti on Kodiak Island.